How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Witch Hut video. I got a super good design to show you today guys. It's using three flying machines. It's got a 7x9 spawning platform. It's got three of them. And this thing is absolutely a beast. It cranks out materials like crazy. Let me show you how it works. If we come up here and place down a block and change the state of that rail, uh, everything's going to be activated. As you can see, it's going to fly across. And these two arms that are controlling the pistons, these big slime block things, are going to alternate. So this one right now is strong powering the pistons, as you can see. So what's going to happen is when we change the state of that rail up there, this observer is going to take this piston, it's going to grab those slime blocks, and it's going to pull them up out of the way, which is going to take this strong power source and briefly transfer it into block 36, which is going to unpower that piston. It's going to update the observer. And as this block is put into its new position, which is right there, it's going to rebud activate or quasi connect our piston, and it's going to push it back out again. So what that means is we get a super quick pulse of that piston de-extending and re-extending, which launches all the flying machines in perfect unison. It's actually super, super nice and easy to build, really compact, and super reliable. Works really nicely every single time. So you can see it comes into the station here, and these are already extended because they're strong powered. And if we place a block, you can see that they briefly unpower as it's turned into quasi-connected state, and this one's ready to be fired on the other side. Very, very nice. Okay, well, first order of business is to put down some immovable blocks. I'm going to use obsidian. So the way you measure this out is you find your corner and you build out one, two, three, one, two, three. See, so three this direction, three that direction, and then one, two, three up like that. And that's where your block's going to sit. And then you can break those and you can put two blocks of space in between like this. And you have three blocks like that. So this is where all of these go. And then on the other side, you can do the same thing. You can go one, two, three, four in this case. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's where this side goes as well, and to give it two blocks of space in between those. Okay, guys, temporary blocks down and to the left by a block here. Uh, this was our original one, and then I put these three down like so. Um, so this just makes a nice little marker so we know where to put our flying machine. You don't actually need these. I mean, I'm using immovable blocks because they might fly away on us if we do this wrong, and you can see I already got two over there. Before our night vision runs out, you want to put a observer down. Observer down, and there you go. Break those temporary blocks, and then to test it out, you can update that observer. There you go. Okay, so when I was building these, I actually had a block here to stop these. So if you want these to sit nicely, you want a block there. If not, they're going to split apart on you because the block up there it doesn't matter, though, because if you're just going to update these like this, that's what I meant to do, uh, it's just going to reconnect and go back. So you can do that. Keep these on one side. See how it splits apart this <laughs> it can go back so if you update that one it'll fly across there we go i know how to fly a machine so anyway we got all three of these guys so this part's super easy we're just going to want to extend the arms the length of our platform and you can see that it ends right there and we got it right here and then there's a block space very nice let's do it for all three sides or all three arms so bam 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 and there we go okay i've removed those temporary blocks we do not need them anymore you can keep them if you really want them though but i've made the water go away so i just kind of doing this like you would do it in your single player world so i'm keeping the roof there because you're probably going to have one as well if you're renovating your witch farm so we want to put some pistons down on top of these movable blocks this is what's going to activate our flying machines test it out if you want to but i know that's going to work so if we put slime blocks diagonally from those like this make a little tower and you can break it so it's one above this piston you can put in your that kind of block right like so and then we're going to want to break this roof so we can get in here this is why i got the water to be removed took so many sponges it's kind of crazy so let's get another slime block redstone and then we're going to want to take that and push it down so we need a piston at this level that needs to be a sticky one so now we can test this out if we go bam should launch all our flying machines excellent Okay guys, so I made a little bit of a mistake. You can see as they come over here into the station, or what will be a station, they get split apart. You don't want that, really. You really don't want that. So what you want to do is update this, get it out of the way, move that block this direction by one. So this is where they all are now. And you can see that the next time we come over here, and by the way, you uh, activate this by putting the block and then removing the block. So now it's going to be stopped in the proper spot and we can build our next little station. Okay guys, with the interest of time in mind, what you're going to want to do is if you put these blocks in the right spot, so over by a block like I showed you, 
to put down some regular pistons, you can copy the exact same thing uh, that you have over there, only this time it's going to be alternated. So you can see that over here we got bud power, so they're diagonal to the pistons, and on this side we got strong power, they're right next to the pistons. So what you also want to do is make sure that you have a gap here, and so this, when it's retracted, like so, is not bud powered diagonally, uh, so the piston can't be there, it has to be one up. So that's what I did on this side, so we need to change that real quick. So come over here, plop down your block, put down a slime block, <laughs> another block on top, I guess, and you can put your sticky piston in like this. So now that there's a one block gap there, it's not gonna be bud powered, perfect. And just to make sure that it's not a push limit, there you go. And you can hear that that actually launched flying machines, perfect. So now that we have bud power on both sides, we're gonna have to alternate that. So let's alternate this side by quickly placing and breaking. So it leaves the stuff behind and then we're ready to put the rest of our redstone in. Sweet. Okay guys, short and snappy tutorial. So we got immovable blocks. We got one up like this because this is gonna have to go upwards. We got a block that this power uh, piston is gonna be powered by. We also want a little bit more of this stuff and we need an observer to go right there. Make sure to break the block before you place it so you don't screw anything up. And we'll put this right here as well. Let me put the block back. And there you go. And I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. All right, so you can go ahead and test this out and start updating this rail up here. And it's a little bit funky. You might have to play around when you initially build this to get everything set in the right spot. Uh, sometimes if you have the flying machine on the wrong uh, wrong side, uh, when you have this aligned in a certain way, you're gonna have to alternate them so you can get it to launch in the right spot. So what you want to have is the flying machines wanna be on the side with strong power. That's how you know that you have the setup perfectly and ready to go. And on the other side, you wanna make sure that this is getting bud powered. So if that's all true, let's break this so we can watch it happen. And then we can put a powered thing right there. When we take it away, it should work. And why is that not working? Aha, I found the problem, here it is. So I forgot to do that. So we need that immovable block in there to make sure you're not grabbing anything extra. So now All right, so solid blocks right here on this side especially, and on this side as well, I'm gonna do it at head level because I was under the assumption that the solid block spawn algorithm thing that you've heard probably in the past that you want air blocks at the foot level. I don't think it's the case anymore, but I'm still gonna do it anyway just because I wanna be able to see the witches in there. I think it looks nice. I just think it looks really clean to be able to see uh, the foot level there. So basically you just wanna block everything in and if you put any blocks in the wrong spot, just launch your flying machine, they're gonna be taken out uh, and you'll be able to see what you did wrong. Shouldn't cause an issue or anything like that. All right, and the last little detail is you want a two wide row of leaves right here at the same level as the floors. And this is to prevent, and here as well, up on the ceiling, and that's to prevent stuff from spawning on the pistons and stuff as it's flying across. Okay guys, turn it on to hard mode. You can hear the chaos down below. Uh, a little bit, and I put an etho hopper timer up here. Let's get rid of some of these superfluous blocks. So this is just one way to activate this thing. You could do this in a variety of different ways. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, uh, but for me, I'm just gonna do something just like this. Let's try 32 blocks. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's gonna pull it out, should activate it, and when it pushes it back, it should activate it again. Very, very, very easy. And then obviously slab it all up or whatever you wanna do there. All right, guys, so it's been a few hours now and I've done half an hour of tests and recorded the data for each one. And the last one I did was actually really close to the average. So we're just gonna go with this test right here, which was the last half an hour of the farm running. Bam, four and a half stacks of redstone per hour, over 2,100 items per hour. This thing is cranking out super, super fast. So that's the you know good idea of the rates. And again, that is specific and relative to my own personal world here. Uh, and the perimeter that I have in place. So I think that that's pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you liked it. Hit the like button and bell me and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.